we got three generations of Hernandez here today. Super cool. Dad, how's it feel back to be in your uh, your old neighborhood? In, in my stomping. Yeah. Feels good. I'm ready to get some tacos. That, yes. <laughs> <laughs> we basically drove five and a half hours just to, to get, to get yeah. <laughs> Original. Remy? Authentic yeah. tacos. Heck yeah. I don't know what to do with my hands. I'm usually the one working on the vehicles. He's all, I'm in sorry, yeah. He's getting like futzy, he's jumping around. He's like, like what do I do? What do I do here? <laughs> Let me get out of the shot. Let me get out of the shot. <laughs> oh man, I'm loving this thing. What do you think, buddy? Is this cool? Let me get in there too. Oh, yeah. Are you ready for this? Yeah. Are you sure you're ready for this? Yeah. <laughs> we are technically in San Marcos, California. Neighbor to San Diego, Escondido basically where all the Hernandezes originated from and uh Yost my guy thank you so much dude appreciate it it's man it's looking awesome seriously man. We're dude so excited to get this set up on your truck it looks awesome I know it's gonna perform awesome for yeah. you yeah I've run the like the, the Camp King uh Outback for the Gladiator for a while and it's 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 hard to beat man um fit finish is great aesthetics are awesome quality build quality is really second man to none. right off the bat that's the first thing you can tell yeah, yeah. so what is your do they call yours the the tiki bar what's yours called yeah <laughs> <laughs> so that was a nickname that hap that manifested itself somehow in, in baja right so yeah we we were out and about and lo and behold the bar came out that's so awesome and so somehow a sign showed up on the awning one morning or afternoon or whatever it was the tiki <laughs> Tiki bar, so the Tiki bar, Tiki hut, Tiki gladiator, I don't know. That's so awesome. Kind of stuck, so yeah, yeah that's uh. what some of, the, some of the crew calls it. So here at Rhino Adventure, Yoast is the only distributor for the Camp King. Yes, that, that, yes, we are the import. We've had a relationship with Camp King for a number of years now, um, and now we are you know, exclusively bringing them in. Um, we've focused on the Outback. Right now, really for two vehicles, the third gen five foot Tacomas mm. and then the, and the Gladiators, um, those, you know, kind of are obviously very typical platforms or common platforms that we see. Yeah. Um, and we've had great luck with both of them. Very um, cool. The Tacoma unit, there's one yeah. actually right here. This is an awesome unit too. Um, same idea, you know, to, it is actually a different canopy. Mm. It's specific to the third gen. Tacoma. It's not like this doesn't go on the Gladiator yeah. and the Gladiator unit doesn't go on this. The door heights are slightly different to account for, for this height. Um, and they really do it just to optimize this, you know, the, the unit, right? Absolutely. The, the doors are full length. Um, outside of that, it, it looks the same, has the same functions, the same, you know, interior well, features. It so. says a lot about a manufacturer that is going to take the time and say, let's maximize the space between models, right? Uh, I think a lot of times, in, in, and you've seen this too, I think in the industry, people will just try to get as many sold as possible, where this is actually saying, no, let's have some attention to detail, let's give it some forethought, and let's make it what it's supposed to be. I yeah. really like that. Absolutely, right? I mean, in theory, a five foot bed's a five foot bed, so you could, right. you know, you could put it on a Gladiator, yep. or you could yep. put it on a Tacoma, you could put it on a second gen Tacoma, you could put it on a Colorado, you can put it on a Ford Ranger, mm -hmm. any five foot box. It doesn't really work that way with these guys. Um, and that's that. Those are some of those small details yep. that really, I think, do manifest itself once you put Absolutely. it on the vehicle and you kind of look at it and you're like, wow, that's clean. So, so how many how many of these things have you sold? How many are rolling around? Yeah, that's a good question. They're you know they're pretty new into the U.S. marketplace. I'm gonna say we have maybe about a dozen of them that's rolling cool. around. Yeah, so that's it's cool. not not that many yet. Um, the first. <laughs> <laughs> the first on 40s. Hey. How's that? <laughs> um, you know, they have, you know, they've got way more of them cool. out, out in Australia, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's where they're made. I yeah. think they, they do make them for the Ranger out there um, and a couple of the other popular uh, platforms there. Cool. Um, the Nissans. The Nissans. <laughs> yep, exactly. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it's, it, it, you know, the concept isn't new. Mm. Um, 
but you know we're just we've been really impressed with their tents over the years and then now you know yeah. with these units it just it seems like a natural kind of evolution into you know where a little bit the space is going and, and what the product offering is fabric is awesome i noticed that yeah, the other thing that i really yep. like is you know we end up putting on a set of real crossbars on here and you mm. can really just take stuff so like a baja trip i recently did stand up board no problem we've got a 360 watt panel that we put up there um, that we specifically designed for this um, which you know if you're running a dedicated auxiliary battery system it, it just gives you loads of power so and, many options you know, yeah it just gives you that flexibility and really what it comes back down to for us is it just makes it more enjoyable yeah and it's more enjoyable just because it's comfortable and easy that's the truth um, man and when you're rolling around kind of out in the out in the wild like um we like getting dirty and yeah and having fun but you know a little comfort doesn't hurt that's the truth <laughs> man so if somebody wants to get this they say you know what i got a gladiator tacoma how do i do this like what's what's the next steps for that yeah i mean reach out to us at rhino adventure gear you can jump on our website um you can also jump onto the camp king us uh web page right um we have a demo unit here in our san diego san marcos location you can absolutely see it we're going to be over at expo we're at a number of different trade shows um, but give us a ring, have a conversation. Uh, we can also always do kind of a, a live um, FaceTime type oh, cool. um, deal. We've done that with a number of customers who are cool. local um, and we can go over any sort of the questions. Um, and then the order, ordering process is pretty simple. If we have it in stock, we've got it. That's what's up. If not, you can put a deposit down um, and then you know, we can get one going on. Awesome, on the next man. Yeah, awesome. Well, next we are heading to, well, down the road, up the road up the road to goose gear and that'll be a totally different video we'll set up but i'll let my little mikey play in here a little more uh i'm gonna start putting up some of the patches you gave me for sure but dude awesome we're gonna have to like seriously I, yeah i can't wait to get out on the trail with you as on soon this as possible it's, it's gonna be it's gonna be great i think I'm, I'm excited to see it uh i'm excited to see some other folks reaction i mean yes. i'm like i mean we see trucks all day long and this is awesome dude yes yeah, yes this is super right. so i'm getting it wrapped too so it's gonna have multi-cam black all over it will be at overland expo west come see me use yost is gonna be there uh uh lucas and lucas and, and sarah from and sarah gonna be there camp king are gonna be there that's as well. really cool they're can't wait be, to be there yeah they're flying out it's super rad oh. great people salt of the earth aussies is just a hoot to hang out with yeah. those guys. <laughs> <laughs> excellent it's definitely swing by the booth at come Rhino see us come say hi exactly yeah. and uh guys we'll catch you on the next one it's my cameraman. He works for tacos. <laughs> How many tacos are you getting today? Uh, three. All of them? Okay, cool.